everyone, I'm Rachel. Welcome to Back in the Saddle. We find ourselves in another lockdown which is due to last until at least the 2nd of December. Hopefully it will be relaxed a bit by then because I, like so many other eager riders who take lessons, will be increasingly frustrated by what is happening. But fortunately it is necessary and of course health and safety comes first. I thought I would put a little video up to share the information that has been announced from the British Horse Society. I will read out the guidelines for England, Wales and Scotland. I am literally taking this information from their website and I will put some links in this video description. If you want to follow the advice closer, the society says, The advice for horse owners, livery yards in England during the coronavirus COVID-19 lockdown. New restrictions will be implemented on the 5th of November in order to further control the spread of COVID-19 in England. During this time, there will be an impact on horse owners, livery yards and stables. However, it is vital that the care and welfare of horses is maintained. For horse owners and livery yards in England, this means that riding schools are not listed as business which are required to close in the guidance for the national restrictions for England. However, stables are identified as businesses that should close within the legislation which can be found here. I'll put the link in the description. Exercise outdoors is permitted and this includes horse riding. This can be undertaken with the people who you live with, your support bubble or one other person. You can travel for exercise if you need to make a short journey to do so. You are permitted to leave your home to care or exercise an animal or horse where they are not kept at home. You can leave your home to seek advice about the health or welfare of your horse including veterinary, barrier, dentistry and physiotherapy treatments. When visiting a livery yard, or stables you should avoid unnecessary social contact and gathering with people who you do not live with. You should follow the COVID protocols which are in place and maintain social distancing. You should not visit a livery yard if you have coronavirus symptoms or wanting a test result if you live with anyone who is exhibiting symptoms or who has tested positive or if you have been notified to self-isolate via track and trace. Please note, all advice and guidance is subject to change as and when the government issues further details. This advice will be updated when further details are issued. Whilst this is BHS interpretation and advice, we strongly recommend that you consult with both your insurance provider and local authority to help make the right decisions for your businesses and circumstances. For Wales, the British Horse Society guidance is Horse riding is permitted as a form of exercise, but you should not take any unnecessary risks so as to put the pressure on the NHS. Owners or carers must attend to or care for the needs of the horse on a daily basis to ensure the welfare needs of their horses are met. You can seek emergency treatment from a vet. You can transport horses in an emergency, but other travel should be avoided. You can call your farrier for emergency work. The advice for Scotland is from the 3rd of November 2020. Travel should be restricted for sport, exercise, training and competition purposes to your own local authority or within a five mile radius of your local authority boundary if travelling into a neighbouring area. Horse riding, personal training and coaching are permitted, provided appropriate safety measures are followed. The full information is on the British Horse Society website. For Northern Ireland, the following is operational for a period of four weeks from the 16th of October 2020. Riding schools and facility centres may continue with lessons and training under the following restrictions. One-to-one -one lessons in an indoor school are permitted, one individual and one coach. No contact between participants and each party is permitted 
to be from different households. Outdoor lessons with a maximum of 15 participants, the coach should be counted as one of the participants, no contact between participants and each party is permitted to be one from different households. Recreational exercise, training and competitions may continue. Now my riding school, Stonehouse Farm, have stopped all my lessons, but luckily, because I loan Harley, I will be able to go down and look after him and ride him. I will not be able to have any lessons during this time though. Have a look at the links on the description to stay up to date with the British Horse Society. I will keep posting videos too when I can. Please like and subscribe to keep in touch, but most importantly, stay safe.